not a second-hand coat I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat I tell my daddy not to be depressed All I need for happiness is the best I want a dime and nothing else has a pee And when it comes to men, you know how I feel I want a real man Give me a real man, you know what I mean Dry observation and nobody gets. Hey, what's up? You guys all fired up? You got oh, the yeah. big man in here? Yeah, yeah. See you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Let's have some fun. Oh, hey, welcome to Real Men. I'm your host, Tim Steves. This is the magazine show for men, about men. We're going to get down to it. And we've got a great panel assembled here. Let's meet them. Noam Rosen is here today. How you doing, Nomer? I have never been better in my entire life. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. And Lori Elliott dropped in. Nice to see you, Lore. Oh, hello. hello. Do you like the way I say that? Dropped in. And Dwayne Hill is here. He also dropped in. I dropped in. It was a great roof. Nice to see you, Dwayne. <laughs> JP is here. Jean Paul is what we call him. Good to see you, buddy. Dogan. <laughs> and also, Stogan? Chucky Byrne uh, is in the house. I dropped something. Good to Google see you, Chuck. Like and that's how we're going to get this show started, I'm... with a commentary from that very same Chuck Byrne. Go ahead, Chucky doll. Dating your friend's ex. Ugh. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't. But maybe she's hot. Maybe you're just a quick in and out. Just a little date. Maybe that'll be okay. No, it won't. You cannot date your friend's ex ever. Unless maybe, you know, you're out of town. Don't know we won't find out. Somebody will always find out. You'll always get caught and it'll ruin your friendship. But maybe it won't. Maybe you can just have sex with her and everything will be fine. And no, no, don't do it. It's wrong. If you, look, if you value your friendships, you will not sleep with your friend's ex, period. Tim? Oh, nice job, Chucky Byrne, getting us kicked off. Yeah, so dating the friend's ex here on Real Men today, it's a good question. Lori, do women have similar uh, rules? Is this a thing? You, oh, yeah. You it's buying a, that from Chuck? I'm totally down with that, Chuck. It's a big deal. You can't do deal. it. They, they're not your friend, or you're not their friend if, if you're going to date their ex. Well, see, I lived it's in a, a house with a group thing. of roommates where, where the, the situation was two different guys, one girl. She was dating one guy when she moved into the house. They broke up, started dating the other guy. It was like being Poland in 1939. Moving the stuff from one room to the next, you know. Yeah, <laughs> help for the ex-boyfriend. Oh, it yeah. Was... I need my CDs. But there's my new boyfriend loves my taste in music. <laughs> to you, I think you have to realize that if you're going to date your friends, ex, you're kissing the friendship goodbye. Hey, Noam, how good a pal would he have to be for you to say, "I'm not going to date the extremely hot, haughty ex-girlfriend"? Um, Who's coming on to you all the time? <laughs> wow. Well, that's a lot of ifs. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like porn than reality. <laughs> I, I don't know. If we're in fantasy land. This is a, a long story. red light. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think you should date friends' exes. I think it's much better to date enemies' exes. <laughs> it's much more enjoyable. You can enjoy it in, in a much larger sense. Was okay. Hitler this sure. good and bad? Was Hitler this good and bad? Let's oh, hear JP, let's hear JP on this. <laughs> what do you think, Sean Paul? Um, my friends and I have a, a law. We call it Jameson's Law. I don't know who the hell Jameson is, but it, it's he pretty much. Somebody's ex. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it's basically um, don't go out or date or sleep with uh, your friend's ex. Cause, now, uh, how many of your boys would that apply to? Like, how close a friend would you have to be before you suspend that rule? Like, I'm, I'm guessing um, some guy you've hung with a couple of times. Yeah, who cares, like, right? I mean, for me to consider, I, I don't really throw the word friend around pretty uh, pretty easily. So, I mean, right. it, 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 it would have He's, to be someone that's very that sparing on hugs. And even you're if very it isn't, sparing. I, I would think even if it isn't a close friend, if it's an acquaintance, you should probably get a go-ahead okay. Yeah. Right. It's like, where, you know, I know you were going out with this girl. I just wanted to make sure everything was over before I asked her out. I and the, and here's how the guy usually responds. <laughs> yeah, sure, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Cheryl. Cheryl. It depends Cheryl's got those massive breasts. Because if, if she's psychotic and he, broke, and he broke up with her, he might say, hey, have fun. Good Enjoy. luck with that. Have fun. <laughs> I'll follow you both home every so Chuck, day. So Chuck, your relationship, cause you emotional pain. The problem isn't just isn't people that actually isn't whether or not you should date next. It's whether you should go after them. I have I have friends, kind of former friends. I swear it was their hobby just to date, like to do it to go after your girlfriend while you're dating her, totally. or 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 at the or at the end of the relationship when you're breaking up with her, and they're like. Yeah, I know, Dwayne's a real creep, huh? <laughs> you know, and, and the, well, I know. That, we got to get Lori Elliott in here. Let's get Lori Elliott, a little female, per, female perspective in here, Laura. Oh, 
I don't know. I just think it's I, I, I just think it's so wrong. Like I would never want to date my friend's ex-boyfriend because I know all the crap about them because us ladies talk about the guys and we're all he did this and he like this and then okay, another situation, I don't want to be go ahead no what about, what about, get no in no, here no, let's no, get no in here what if you have a girlfriend who you know is crazy and a bitch I <laughs> Crazy bitch girlfriend. We're okay, so great. But what, what about people it? who do? Okay, if I what do, if then, yes. If so I then you've got a Lori. crazy girlfriend who's a total bitch, yes. and she treats her man really badly. Yes. And you're like, oh my god, I'd be perfect for him. He I... sounds really nice. No, oh. he sounds really stupid. No, to be with a crazy her. bitch. Okay, that's fine. And let's face it, the only, the only reason you're actually dating these people is because of the fact that they work in a company that's got no women, or they don't go to bars, or they're socially retarded, and the only bonds they form are with your girlfriend. You know, it's it's be because they, they have, you need a pool to pick from, to, to date from, and of course, Dwayne, you haven't got it. Now, Dwayne, yeah. I'm thinking this has probably happened to you, where you got a buddy, he's got a really nice girlfriend, she meets you a couple of times, and it's like, oh, Dwayne's a really big, funny guy. And yeah, like, exactly. But and they then don't have sex with me, thank God. It's like, <laughs> I, I got that bullet. Amen, brother. You know, who's, you know who's less sexy than Dwayne? No one, but he's so delightful. <laughs> Anywho. Do you feel like it's like what Chuck said, sort of like a mob hit? You got to check with the other mob boss before you carry it out. Oh, with with dating an ex, uh, somebody's yeah, girlfriend. You, you know, I just I, I don't think I could do it. I think it'd be it'd be just it'd be like well, she wasn't that bad and bad. It's it's I think it depends. I think it depends one too. Well, uh, well really, it is it always about that? If you, if you want companionship, get a puppy, right? You know, have your male friends. <laughs> Sex is gonna come into the what equation. What did you have there, JP? Point. We got a few seconds. No, I was saying I think it depends on on how long the relationship was over as well, and how well the acquaintance like Chuck was saying like I mean if it's like my friend friend I'm not gonna date her but I mean if it's an acquaintance and it's been over for a while and we've been talking and it's been cool and it hasn't been well Dwayne was you know that way inclined and that kind of stuff then all right we gotta get out of here <laughs> anal Dwayne Good job. We called him he was <laughs> oh yeah okay just be <laughs> just before we lose our NC 17 rating we're gonna get out of here join us in a second after this break we're gonna talk about the rules of breaking up the etiquette of the breakup are there any and we ask people on the street the same topic we're coming right back you think there's any breakup etiquette out there today, or is it just free for all? Breakup etiquette? No, it's free for all, really. Um, I don't have any etiquette, so I don't expect anybody else to either. Real men. Has to do something. Yeah, come on. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. This segment, we're going to talk about the rules of breaking up, the breaking up oh. etiquette. Is there any? Are there any rules, Lori? The rules of breaking up are articulated in just one rule to me. Do it right away. Just do it. I don't care if it's on her birthday or on his birthday, on Valentine's Day, on Easter. Just do it right away and be honest with it. Don't do it in stages and don't make her break up with you. So I've broken up with people before. I've said things like, you know, I don't think I can fully commit to you because I'm having too much sex with Ron. <laughs> I've done it. It happens, but you gotta be honest because everybody finds out in the end. You always find out in the end if they've lied to you or not, if they're cheating to you or not. So just do it right away. That's my advice, Tim. Oh. Who is Ron? That's what we're all thinking right now. <laughs> Stage name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ron's name has been changed probably for that bit. To I'm thinking. Jared. Innocent. Unbelievable. <laughs> so yeah, just, just get out is what Lori's saying. So yeah. you're saying that the, the whole uh, make them break up with you thing isn't good. It's so stupid. It's is that like, the way you go, Dwayne? Well, how about, how about the, yeah, do. just don't answer your phone Sometimes that takes too long, That's though, man. That's stupid, too. The, the making them <laughs> break up yeah, with you because... One at a time, one at a time. If, if Dwayne's way of making them break up with you sometimes works, but sometimes just takes way too long because it's like yeah, after it's, you've killed exactly. her father and uh, she's like, ah. easy way to eat your way out of a relationship and... I know I'm a bad man. I shouldn't have slaughtered those nuns. <laughs> You're probably dating the wrong guy. You have, you have self-esteem issues, young lady. Anywho, I gotta go. I How do you do it, Noam? How do I do it? Well, I mean, in theory, I'd like to say that I, I kind of just rip the Band-Aid off and, and do it like that. But in practice, I've, I've had my problems breaking up in the past. And it's hard, I, isn't it? I, no. You know, probably am a little too sensitive in this, and I take their feelings a little too much into account. See, that's what I meant. That's I know. what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Well, I'm just phrasing it in a way it that came the out audience totally can wrong. understand. Yeah, exactly. We're the like, same I, way. I don't want to hurt their feelings. We're I want alike. them to think I'm a jerk, so they just, you know, we just stop talking. Maybe sex occasionally. Look, that's that's my point. Is it's so much easier for a woman to break up with a man right away because she does not want to have sex with him anymore. But guys take forever because they're like, oh well, you know, I'll get, I'll have one last round. Well, you no, know, it took you so, it took you so long it. to convince this girl to have sex with you in the first place. You don't want to. 
you know, you've invested all that time and legwork. You don't want to have to do <laughs> that up. What are you, you know? what are you a lot of time and legwork? Oh, that legwork. Speaking of legwork, though, what if yes. you've got the other thing? Where, what if you've got the girl who wants to still have sex, which does happen occasionally? I've read journals. I've read the yes. yes. that it can happen. <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead, no. Explanation. It is possible that women do like sex as well. That does happen out there in the real world. For and, sure. And sometimes they want to the have sex. The thing is, and I, I mean, I, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this one, Lori, but when women plan on breaking up with a guy, they've got they do it like months in advance. Like it's not it's not it's not a spur of the moment thing. It's they've like already got the Olympics. So by the time the guy's like, hey, we should do it one more time, the girl's like. I don't ever want to see you naked again. I don't like anything uh -oh. about you anymore. I actually hate the way you smell, the way you crinkle your nose and you laugh, the way you crinkle your nose and I kick you in the balls. Okay. I hate all of it. Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. Right? Fair uh, enough. Guess, but it's a, it's, you, a, it's a band aid motion at the end I, of it, all of that. Get thinking. in here, JP. No, I, I think everyone's got their own different way. Like, I mean, Gnome and, and Dwayne have all obviously got their own way of the just, you know, just wean her off of us by uh, just <laughs> acting, you know. I, I prefer doing a little puppet show, so, you know, it's, it's entertainment yet. <laughs> Informative and hi. How old are these ladies? You. You know, I, I, these I, I, are two people here. who shouldn't be dating you anymore. Touch me here. You used to touch <laughs> me. And then we you. say, let's t let's discuss Sorry. the puppet show. You know what I mean? Outside. So. <laughs> puppet show. Last I mean, time we talked about a puppet show was on the circumcision episodes. I don't know what the <laughs> puppet show thing is, but that's okay. I think it depends on how, you, how you deal with confrontation to begin with. Yes, yes. Guys I mean, are scared of confrontation I'm not with women. At, I'm not good at confrontation to begin with, so I generally just try and avoid the whole thing. See? You know, just kind of, I'll just kind of float along. You just along, stop calling, of, Chuck? Well, you just, you, generally speaking, you know when things are starting to head downhill. And I think a lot of guys know it's heading downhill, and they'll just kind of like, eh, we'll enjoy the ride downhill until she, you know, kicks me out. But well, it's, like I said, it's like I said hold before. On. Sorry, JP. I want to hear from Lori. The worst. Did anyone? What's the worst way someone ever broke up with you, Lori? And then let's get JP in too. Oh, the worst <laughs> way? I don't know. There was one. One of my boyfriends actually uh, went with his girl, his ex-girlfriend over to my best friend, the restaurant where my best friend worked at, where I knew everybody, and just started making out with her there so that it would get back to me. <laughs> That was pretty bad, but I've had wow. some really insane breakup stories that I can't even comment on right now. Like, <laughs> I can't even, we only no have a way. half hour segment. You'd have to get me drunk. If there was vodka in my cup, I would maybe well, spill the beans. Cup, so but... that, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> John, John Paul, what did you have, man? No, I, I was kind of agreeing with Chuck in, in saying that uh, I've always said that women tell us how they feel no matter what but guys take when women say you know what Dwayne you're a this and you're a that but you know we're getting we sex we so we're fine. We don't tell them how, they, how we feel about them when we like them let alone when we hate them. Exactly because we're yes. getting sex we don't want to say anything to mess that equation up. You know I mean it's mathematical <laughs> at that point. Is it hard to get sex around it? Have I missed something here? No. Yes. Is it so <laughs> yes, hard you to have. get sex from your girlfriend? I mean if you're dating that already. already? Shouldn't you have? No, but that's the point. She's you've got the girlfriend, you're getting the sex. <laughs> okay. You don't want to give that it's, up. It's We're out of time for the segment. Sex. Nice it's job, panel. We got the power play panel in here today. We're going with a five person lineup. <laughs> and when we come back, summarize. okay, Dwayne, settle down. I'm trying to do a throw. When we come back from this break, we're going to talk about men and celibacy. What? On, you're going to be celibate on purpose after this. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. On this segment, we're talking celibacy. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, Dwayne? Have you ever been celibate on purpose? Uh, <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I choose not to have sex with you. Put that cheerleading outfit away. <laughs> Stop crying. That's so typical of your age. Um, oh, Dwayne. No, I mean, after that last comment, I got to tell you, this whole breakup thing, I, no, I swear, it's, I, I'm going to be celibate now. Great. Great. I'm going to have to get somebody who doesn't speak a word of English to fall in love with me now. Um, celibacy, I mean, it's, it's forced, I think, isn't it? I mean, if, if, a guy, if it was up to a guy, he'd have sex with two different women a day, every day. And not they, priests. Not priests. Exactly. That's celibate, right? Well, someone. Well, I think yeah, so we're making jokes theory, in our heads right now. Works. Works. Celibacy usually comes when it, on a guy. Uh, women don't have a problem with celibacy just because, you know, I need to get in touch with myself and, and you know, they go through that. that. But guys don't need to be introspective, you know. Lori, do women get pigs? Pigs. We know we're pigs and we're happy with, with that. With myself thing. Is what? that true, Lori, that women get their emotional ducks in a row first? Is that something mm. that you guys do? Their emotional no, ducks in a row? No, you like that, Dwayne? Quack. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? Like, we we 
think about having sex and we have to no, wait no, and I'm, we I'm cream. Not, I'm not saying that. You guys are, are like, well, you know what? At, at this juncture in my life, I don't think Jim is the right man for me. And, and us having sex just clouds the issues. Whereas well, the guy's like, you know what, man? I want some and I want some now. And if you could just I drill like a hole in your nightstand, I'll yeah. just be humping it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this little baby nightstand with my eyes. Does masturbation count? Masturbation? I don't, I don't think so. Well, that's the whole well, thing. That's like, that's, 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 that's included. included. I mean, it's, it's, that's included. It's included. It's no, like, well, that's just insane. And a set of knives. It, that's just insane. If masturbation that's is included, the celibacy thing. Okay, wait, thing. so nobody here has been celibate? Is that what we're trying to... Well, well I, that's what I'm asking. Does masturbation count? Until I, until Let's I assume masturbation it. doesn't count. Let's then yeah, well, yeah, yeah the celibate, part. yeah. Oh, then we've all been I'm celibate. I'm the poster oh, boy for Mas celibate if masturbation <laughs> doesn't count. You know, it's like, it's, you know, like a, we've got two hands. We're guys, if you include masturbation, you throw us in the cell and lock us up. Do your worst. I'll be masturbating. <laughs> no, but I mean, me, I'll be I, I strangling myself. When they're talking today. about celibacy, it's like, I, I think they're talking about a conscious. Have you ever said, you know what, I'm not going to have sex? Yes, uh, yes that's Sinead O'Connor. And it really? didn't work. Yeah. Has, have you said that? Yeah. Why? Why? Just because uh, I got to the point where I was, I got to a point where I was really trying to have sex. Yes. And uh, and I wasn't psychology. having a lot of it. I was having some. Mm -hmm. But then I just got, I found myself getting caught up in the all I was thinking about was I, I need to have sex, I need to have sex, I need to have sex. And uh, and for me it was a, it was a career thing. It was I was that's all I was thinking about when I was on the road was having sex and getting laid. And it got to the point where it was starting to take over from what I was really wanted to work on, which was my show. So you took the And Zen so I attitude. just said, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop trying to get laid on the road. That's what I said. Then you become okay. like a oh, so it became to the conditional. version of sex, you know. <laughs> like, well, I'm I mean, get laid I mean, on the I'm road, not, but when I get if, back if home, a woman if a woman walks up and goes, town. You got the chair with the star on the bottom, we're having sex tonight. You're not gonna turn I'm not it down. gonna I'm not gonna be like, Well, I'm sorry, but I made a little promise to myself. You're not gonna turn it down, <laughs> you're not gonna like actively, actively I was I wasn't actively I didn't I took myself out of the market. Hold on now, no I don't think that's being celibate. Being celibate yeah. is if someone comes up to you and says, you have the, star, the chair with the star underneath, and you go, you know what, I, I, I'm Well, I don't I'm know. Cool. If you're not pursuing it, then it's kind of No, kinda you, that, that's, that, that's What's totally up, Lori? different. Just, Lori, I'm sensing a little stress from Lori Elliott. I just, I don't, I don't understand this whole celibacy thing. Like, I don't know anybody who's decided to be celibate and stuff like that. I know that. someone, actually. Do you? I, I know someone. What? And, it's got to be a girl. Actually, no, no, it was another comedian. It was Spill. a guy. Um, you know, I won't mention any names. And he just thought, you know what, it was messing up his life. As far as you know, he was making really bad choices and sleeping with some really bad women, and and then it in turn just clouded a lot of it stuff. And he over. just said, you know what, I, I I'm yeah. not going to sleep with anyone. Clear my head regardless of whether legit, I no? have a yeah, star that's totally the chair legit. or whatever. That's totally Take legit. Take a time out, Nomer. Yeah, guys get that way too. It's not just women who have emotion. I mean, yeah. men have emotions as well. And it's if, more basic. If you got, <sighs> it's just well, whatever. <sighs> I mean, for some of us, and for not for some of us. But if, if you if you're kind of screwed up, if you're kind of screwed up, and you you're confused. And you need to take a break from it, then take a just, break from yeah, it. Step back I just from call that living. If you're confused, like, that's, yeah, that's, what, like that's, that's what guys like call celibacy. Yeah, you know, it's a conscious <laughs> decision. Like, I will not have sex it for me. I'm just like, I'm not having sex, decision. whatever. I think what Chuck was saying, too, is I'm not going to have any more sex with people that I don't not, care about or really know. I'm not going to go hunting. Right. But if I hit my, if I hit a deer with my car, it's going on the roof. I'm taking it home. You had sex with deer? Oh my God! You're gonna have your problem. We're having deer steaks tonight. If I hit one, you have sex with roadkill. Who hit a set tomorrow? You hit a seven pointer. It's got to go home. That is so Tom Green. What about people who don't decide not to ever have sex, like for the rest of their lives? Like the Pope. Like the Pope. The Pope. And you know the Pope has sex. But the Pope gets good hats. Writing letters now. So that's okay. No sex. Good hat. The Pope hasn't had sex. Well, he told me that. Yeah, you were the first, right? You the angry emails start You're coming doing in. You're a great job considering I'm here first. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. I, I, the Pope's I, not supposed to have sex. That's no. my Are understanding. Are they thinking, no. now am I That's wrong, celibate. but were they, yeah, was but that, the Catholic yeah, Church but that goes, thinking that goes of with, letting priests get that, married that, that, and that have back, sex and That goes with his no. vocation, no. with church, what he does. The so church not, sponsored okay. brothels for so 800 years until Pope not. Pius, ironically enough, said, you can't have sex anymore, it's too distracting. But they had yeah. brothels, they had church-run brothels for years. Okay, oh, yeah. that's, that's, they did. That's nice, nice job that's where panel. You get the name celibacy. Brother. I don't know, I'm not down with the celibacy, but oh, we're gonna yeah. talk some more about it when we come back from this break. Stay with us on Real Men, where men get real. Church-run porn? Yes. Yes. Doing my hosting character. Hi, welcome back to Real Men. Oh my God! Right, that wasn't any good. We can't. Do, let's never see that again. And at some point, you probably wanted to be a male model. Okay. Like at some point, I was like, hold on, man. man. This segment, male? we're still talking celibacy. We got a celibacy. We got a couple of. See, I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> Chuck, is it possible for a man to be celibate? I think it's possible for a man to be celibate 
for a short period of time. I think you can be <laughs> celibate. The afternoon. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, everything's possible. <laughs> I think you can be celibate as, as a way of kind of getting your house in order. Yeah. Kind of taking yourself out of the sexual marketplace, getting your stuff together, and then putting yourself back Buy in. Buy low, sell high. But I don't think you can do it. I mean, it's a long-term thing. I just think it's unrealistic. I think that's why, you know, the church has had so many problems with sexual issues and stuff like that is because it's just not natural. I don't know, have you been to the church lately? Towel Fight Tuesdays? Uh, <laughs> there's nothing. There's Mud nothing wrestling in the Wednesdays Bible about towel fights. Great. <laughs> what is Mud Wrestling Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Mud Wrestling oh, Wednesdays. Oh, now fabulous. clean up a good uh, by the ears. I Laura, think Laura, do you idea. think it's possible for a man to be celibate? And not for his entire life, no. Definitely <laughs> not. Because you like, hate to be the first one. Like, <laughs> there's something rumbling. Most of ninth uh, grade. Stand back, sweetheart. <laughs> no, but I, I, I don't know. I think that... Uh, that that it's good. It's good for a guy because the guys were telling me uh, during the break that y it makes you crazy if you don't get it. You know, after having it for a while, it can make oh, you yeah, crazy. And it can true. make you think, uh, obsess about it. So if you do step back and out of your own sexual skin, <laughs> then and take a breather, I think that's a good thing. It's yeah. like being a crack addict, great. so to speak. You know, well, it's yeah. like having <laughs> sugar in your system, isn't it? Men it's need for yes, not even. Sugar it's like having a crank sugar. in your system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, you gotta get it out. The yeah. male desire for sex is very strong. And I think it's we way can all different than women's. It's way different. Women don't have sex with totally. it's, it's a different. Yeah, yeah. How do yeah you know? it seems that way because I don't. Because worry. they don't have penises. Oh, guys women are don't walking have live volcanoes. Is that's what it is. We're trembling volcanoes of lust. You never know when it's gonna erupt and it's And we all think we're great. You do never know, but you can sort of predict slightly. When it's going to erupt. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. that's another episode. That's entirely. why we always give that heads up warning. You brush against me and swim. <laughs> Whoa, glass. back up! <laughs> Humidex is rising. Oh, it's really degenerated in here. <laughs> oh, we were having, well, I think we were having an intelligent think, conversation we've, we've about come, celibacy, and now you guys are just, that doing just don't dick work. jokes. <laughs> Well, celibacy, now, who won that celibacy. argument? Because you're both yelling at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah. That's all the time we have for today on <laughs> Real Men. Time, Thanks a lot, Sorry, guys. Anyway, nice job. <laughs> and uh, especially Dwayne. Or good to see the big man back in the couch. Very happy. Thanks for coming the out. We'll see you next great. time. The surgery went fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> good job, guys. We're sitting very hard.